Hey, hope you're doing well today. I want to talk to you this, this morning, this afternoon, this evening, wherever you're at about debt. Now before I do that, I want to introduce myself. I'm Jerry. My job today is to provide you with information. Information on how to create a life of abundance and prosperity. Okay, that's my number one job in your life. If you're just tuning in, please share this because I have a message about debt that's not being discussed. Now, before we talk about debt, I'm gonna go old school on you. You guys know I love words, I love definitions, I love roots, where, pe where words originated from. So the word debt, I'm gonna read you the definition here. Debt right now in the dictionary is defined as something that is owed or that one is bound to pay or perform for another. That's debt. Now, what I thought was ironic I'm big on root origins, where, where words started. So when you go to debt, the origin actually was 700 years ago. It was in the 1300s. Okay, the root origin of debt literally means to owe something. So what I thought was unique with that, guys, is generally speaking, if you look up word definitions today and then you go back to the root of where the word originated, it's severely different from what it means today. So it starts usually as one thing and it means something completely different by the time you actually look at the definition today. Debt is not that case. Okay, so what that tells me is everyone knows what debt is. We do currently and we have for the last 700 years or longer. The definition hasn't changed. We all have some sort of experience with debt. My first experience with debt was a car loan. Okay, when I was 18, I bought a car. I didn't buy it, I financed it, okay? I think the payment was $326 a month. It was a red 2010 Chevy Cobalt. And man, I was pumped when I got it because that was my first real vehicle. The car I had before that, it, if I would go below five miles an hour, the vehicle would shut off. So I would be at a stoplight. It was not a manual transmission either. It was, it was automatic. So some, something was wrong with it where when I, when I was at a stoplight or if I was coasting, my car would shut off. So when I got a new car, I was pumped. And it didn't feel like debt. When I had the vehicle, it did not feel like debt. When it did feel like debt is when I no longer wanted the vehicle, when I tried to get rid of it, okay? So that feeling of, of being trapped, okay? Not, not being able to get out, you have to pay it back. I can't, for, I can't have the car just repoed. I mean, I could, but I care more about my own personal integrity than to do that. And so I'm trapped in this vehicle, right? Now, we've all felt that feeling. I wanna read some stats off to you about debt. So right now in America, it is, an it is an epidemic, okay? It's something that's really going on. I think it's the big problem that nobody's talking about. We're all talking about healthcare and all this stuff. Debt's a huge issue too, okay? So the average American household, the average American household owes $130,992 in total consumer debt. Cars, mortgages, school loans, credit cards, the whole nine yards, okay? 130 grand. Now here in Alaska where I live, it's actually higher than that. We've got a very, very bad debt problem. Now, in addition to that, the US government, let's talk about our Uncle Sam, okay? We learn from those that, that are usually our relatives, right? So we're just learning from our uncle. Our Uncle Sam has over $20 trillion in debt. Over $20 trillion in debt, and it's growing every day. Go to US Debt Clock, Google US Debt Clock, It'll ruin your day, I promise you, but it, you can actually see the numbers, okay? That's what our government owes. Okay, here's our next stat. The total U.S. student loan debt is $1.48 trillion. Now, this is a crazy stat because it's actually over $600 billion bigger than credit card debt. We get taught, we go to Dave Ramsey class and we get taught never have credit cards. Not once do we get told, Hey, student loans are the new credit card. Finance your education. Okay, take that 30 grand, that 50 grand, that 100 grand, and just stick it on a credit card. That's what people are doing. And they can't get out of it. If they die, it gets passed down to a relative. Student loans are ridiculous. Okay, so the other stat I want to share with you here is mortgages. So the average, or not the average, the total US mortgage debt, 14.29 trillion is what it's estimated to be to live inside some boards, 14.28 trillion, okay? That's our debt problem. Now, the thing we need to talk about here is not do we handle debt, we do handle debt. Like I said, if, we, if you are watching this, I know you're ethical, you have integrity, you keep your promises to others, and so you're paying your debt off. So the question is not do we handle it, we do handle it, we do pay it off. 
That's how we handle it. Now, the real question is, when do we handle it and in what fashion? Now, that's typically, when I sit down with clients, that's typically the conversation that starts, we have so much debt, how do we handle it? We need to pay it off, we need to pay it back. The first thing I tell people, don't do it. Give them the minimum. They are not your grandmother, they are not your cousin, they're not your dad, it's not your, your relative, your best friend. Bank of America is going to be fine if you give them just 30 bucks. That's all they asked for. Your mortgage, by the way, is not an asset, so don't stick two grand a month into it if they're only asking you for $1,400. Your car, one of the biggest ways to ruin 10 grand is to stick it into a vehicle. Stick 10 grand in your car, I guarantee in three years you've only got five grand left. That is a losing proposition. So here's the real debt, guys. This is the debt that we all owe and nobody talks about. Okay, I'm about to hit you hard on this. You ready? I, I got my dukes up on this one. Do you remember those dreams you had when you were a kid? Wanting to be a cowboy, wanting to be an astronaut, all of the stuff that you were excited about when you were little. Do you remember quitting on that? Do you remember the moment that someone said, hey, that's not realistic, you can't do that, nobody makes it, it's only this percent chance that somebody actually does that. Do you remember when you agreed with them finally and said, oh yeah, it's not realistic? Okay, how about, how about the New Year's resolution you set to lose weight that you quit on? Or when you said, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start saving money and quit on that too. Or when you said something as simple as, I'm gonna set my alarm for six and start getting up on time and you hit snooze again. The biggest debt that we owe is the debt to ourselves. Guys, this is what I wanna share with you today. We are so concerned about paying the credit card off, getting rid of the car loan, paying the mortgage off early, doing all these things, but we've never gone back and mended the broken promises we have in ourselves. And here's how crazy it is. We're willing to not only just pay off our debt before we pay ourselves off, we're willing to go out and invest in other things on top of that. You have no business putting your money in your 401k if you have not gone through a financial education course. You have no business putting your money in Bitcoin if you've never gone out and invested in yourself. If you're, if you're not regularly increasing your knowledge, Greg, Greg Gordon, that's the answer to your question, that, that Bitcoin question. If you are out there and you have not been investing in your knowledge, you have not been investing in your ability, you have no business doing any of those things. Because here's the deal, guys. We have a loud boy haircut lady on Fox News or CNN that tells you you can't, you can't afford things. And then we got a bald redneck that tells you pay everything off. If you do that in 30 years, guess where you're going to be? exactly where everyone else is, old and average. That's really the, that's the reality, old and average. Awesome, you paid your house off. You didn't pursue your dreams. You didn't live the way you really wanted to. You didn't start the business. You didn't make the trip. You didn't go to the course. You didn't go to the event. But hey, your car's paid off and you're gonna need to buy a new one in three years and you'll be back in the same hole. So guys, this is what I wanna address today. Your number one investment is you. Okay, anybody that refutes that or tells you otherwise is either severely confused or they are your enemy. Your number one investment is you. So if you are not buying books, going to courses, doing stuff like Wealth Dynamics University, where you're actually investing in yourself regularly training, and instead you're putting $400 into your 401k, or you're paying your car off early, or you're trying to get the mortgage paid off early, you're committing treason against yourself again. When you're doing that action, you are further stabbing the knife in. So what I want you to do, this is New Year's weekend, and the reason I'm sending you this message today is because I think you need to hear it. When you write down your New Year's resolutions this weekend, I don't want you looking at, I wanna pay my debt off. I don't want you looking at, I wanna increase my 401k contributions. I want you looking at, what dreams did I quit on? What promises did I make with myself that I didn't keep. And I want you to pick one of those, not all of them, one of them. And I want you to make it right with yourself. Okay, and once you make that one right with yourself, I want you to pick the next one. So I want you starting with little things. Okay, if you've been telling yourself, hey, I'm gonna wake up on time and you don't do that, low hanging fruit, grab that one first, make it right with yourself, start doing the right thing. All right, in addition to that, 
I want you to start investing in yourself regularly, making it right. It's no different than a marriage. If you're married to someone, you jack up. A, you got to make it right. B, you got to add something on top of that just to get back in good graces and build the relationship up again. You haven't been doing that with yourself. Okay? So we have plenty of, of, of just obstacles, challenges, problems, people that are, are pushing against us rather than for us. I would say 20% of the people you know probably don't want you to succeed. We already have enough of that. You already have enough of those people in your life. Don't be one of them. Okay? So the reason I'm sharing this, guys, is we have a program. I have a program that I want you on. It's called Wealth Dynamics University. It's a $50,000 value coaching education, training, and accountability program. If you are looking at your life and you're saying, man, I know there's something more out there. I know that I'm better than this. I know that I can do more. If you're not settling, then you need to start with investing in yourself. So this is what this looks like, guys. We're gonna start with a wealth creation plan for you. We're gonna look at what, what were your dreams and now in relation to that, where are they now? Where would you like to be 15, 20 years down the line you know, what legacy do you want to leave? And I'm not talking about retirement planning. Retire actually means retreat. I don't want you building a life that you, you have to quit on in 40 years because you hate it so much. Okay? So you're going to start building out, what do I want my life to look like? Okay? We're going to dial all those big picture things into daily, weekly, monthly monthly stuff. This is not This is not going to Tony Robbins and walking on coals and getting jacked up for three days and going back home. This is not that. This is you're taking your potential and you're dialing in, into daily, weekly, monthly things that we can actually stay accountable to. Okay, once we get those set, you're going to do a 30 minute monthly coaching call with a certified coach. In addition to that, you're going to be training on Cardone University, over 1,500 training segments, 1,500 tra- training segments broken into four certification programs. Every single day, you're learning how to grow yourself. You're learning about sales. You're learning about business. You're learning about money. In addition to that, that's right, I'm still going. In addition to that, you're going to get access to the Wealth Dynamics Mastermind community. Guys, it is dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of people that are like-minded, that get what you're doing. They're headed in the same direction, and it's a, it's a safe place for you to share your dreams. It's not people that are going to say, Oh, that's not realistic or hey, you know, what about your kids? What about this? What about, it's not any of that. It's people that get you. They understand because they're doing the same thing. And so there's the accountability, there's the community connecting with those people, and then there's opportunity there as well. In addition, this is like one of those TV things. We're not done yet. Oh, wait, there's more. In addition to that, guys, I'm giving you a free ticket to the 2018 10X Growth Conference. It's a three-day event, February 22nd through 24th. I'm going to buy your, your ticket to get in. You just need to get down there and have a place to stay. It's over 20 speakers, Grant Cardone, Damon John, Lewis House, Ty Lopez, Tim Grover, Ed Milet, and all of these other people that are running multi-million and multi-billion dollar corporations, and they're going to share with us where they started, what's working, how they got where they're at today, what obstacles they faced, and how they overcame them. And we can, as a group, we're going to have 20 clients that are going down as a group. We're going to learn all of this and come back home and hold each other accountable to it. All right? I was probably 16 when I first started looking for a mentor. And and not like like just somebody that's older than me that cares. I had a a lot of those people in my life. A mentor was somebody that was where I wanted to be. They were living the life I had dreamed and envisioned. I didn't have that person. That guy never showed up. Okay, so seven years later, I finally started making it. And now my passion is to make sure that people have access. The information is out there. The coaching is out there. The training is out there. The intention is out there. The people are out there. So in addition to all those things, I want to make it really easy for you to do this. I'm giving away a $1,300 scholarship to one person. We're going we're gonna to pick the winner next Thursday. One person is going to win a $1,300 scholarship to apply to their WealthX University or Wealth Dynamics University tuition. Okay, I'm going to post a link in the comments really quick. It's going to have an article about all of the statistics that I just mentioned on debt. And then also, if you would like to be considered for the scholarship program, how you can win. Now, I want to give you guys reality on this. The Wealth Dynamics program is not free. It's going to cost something. 
okay? A, you're gonna get a, a, a actual formula to follow to build wealth. You're gonna get somebody's time, which is valuable in and of itself. You're gonna get education, and I know all of it's out there on the internet, but it's not organized and it's not convenient and compartmentalized. You've gotta go dig. This is gonna be compartmentalized, convenient, and you're gonna be able to just go to what you need when you need it. Okay, so you're gonna get education, you're gonna get community, you're gonna get a ticket down to the 10X Growth Con. There's over 10,000 people attending. Okay, the, the cost on this is 257 a month without the scholarship. Okay, you can apply the scholarship to this program and those of you that just thought, man, that's a lot of money, you spend more than that on your car payment. You spend more than that on tobacco. You spend more than that on alcohol. If you smoke pot, you spend way more than that. You're probably not doing the program if you smoke pot, actually. Um, <laughs> you spend more than that on all of these different payments, Starbucks, all these expenses. For once, put it on yourself. Go earn your trust back. Go invest in yourself. Go pay off that debt that you owe to yourself. For once, I'm just saying, just do it in January. Like, go ahead and do it. Don't think about it. You invalidate your own ability when you say, hey, I've got to think about it. You're killing yourself. Think, th thought is like that. Like, picture an elephant. It just happened. You thought about it, okay? When you say, I've got to think about it, and then you delay, you're procrastinating. And you're just breaking another promise. So I know this is a tough message today, guys, but I really do care about your potential. My, my, my life mission and goal is to inspire and empower billions of people to see the greatness they're truly capable of. That's how I get my potential. And so I wanna make you one of those people, okay? So it's a three-year commitment. Whether you win the scholarship or not, there's a three-year commitment. We only have seven slots left, period. We only have one slot left if you're gonna try and get the scholarship. Okay, a three-year commitment, three videos a day on Wealth Dynamics University. Three videos, it's about 30 minutes of training every day. You spend 30 minutes on Instagram and Facebook at least. Just replace that time. A 30-minute monthly coaching call. And because you're working with a certified coach, we need to know that, A, you're gonna show up on time. Not just like on time for your session, that's really basic. You're showing up with your goals. Like you actually did the activities between calls. Because at the end of the day, you either did or didn't. So it's showing up. We need you to work hard. This is not passive income. This is not get rich quick. This is not a rich dad event. You're going to put in time. You're going to put in effort. We're going to ask you to do 20 years of work in five. And then just be done. Okay, it's going to be work. And it's going to be work either way. You actually work harder to fail. It, it takes more energy to not succeed than it does to succeed. I guarantee you, because I've been on both sides you should look at pictures of me now. Look at my face now. Go find a picture of me three or four years ago. Go do it. It's on my profile. Night and day difference. Because I wasn't succeeding back then. It was draining. Okay, it takes so much more work. Okay, so you're already putting the work in. You're already spending the money on other stuff. You just need to redirect what you already do. Okay, 257 a month, three year commitment. Instead of putting that on your car, instead of putting that on your mortgage, instead of putting that on Starbucks or your credit card or your whatever, put that money on yourself. Instead of spending 30 minutes on Instagram every day, put that into your daily training. Instead of putting effort into failing, put effort into succeeding. And I guarantee you, it's going to make 2018 the best year you've ever had. I promise that. Okay, we have a testimonial from a client yesterday. He started with us last week. When he, and he started, it was ballsy. Like he, he was like, dude, I don't know how I'm gonna make this happen. I am taking money from my, my rent payment to make this happen, and I don't know if I'm gonna make rent. And I said, all right, well, if you do this, I'm committed if you're committed. And he pulled the trigger and did it. He made five grand in the first week. And his rent wasn't an issue. Like he has now five months of rent, okay? So you will always pull through for yourself. If you ever fell in the water and didn't know how to swim, I doubt you just sit still and be like, okay, I have to drown now. I don't know how to swim. I'm just gonna sit here now and drown. You wouldn't, you'd flail, you'd move your body. Naturally, that's what we do. And so when you leverage yourself into dangerous situations, you make it to where you have to fight back. It's that fight or flight thing. And the reality is, the situation you're in is already dangerous. You just don't know it yet. You're in the most dangerous situation you could possibly be in because you're financially at risk, your potential, your family is at risk, and you feel comfortable. 
that is a terrible combination. When you feel at risk or when you are at risk and you feel comfortable, terrible combination. So guys, I'm gonna post the link here in the comments again. If you would like to come to 10X GrowthCon with us, this is the way to do it. If you would like to make 2018 the best year you have ever had, I am committed like you're committed to yourself. So if you're ready to go, there's the link. You guys always know how to get a hold of me. If you're interested in the scholarship program, this article has the steps, the steps to do it. It's gonna be work. And if you're asking for the scholarship, I am gonna make sure that you actually do need it. It's not just, I don't wanna spend 257 on myself. That's not why we would do the scholarship. It's gonna be somebody that's putting the effort in, they're doing everything it takes, and they just need a little bit of a boost. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Please share this. If you're just tuning in for the first time, I do one of these every single day because I care about you and your potential and I wanna see you achieve what you're fully capable of. Have a great Saturday, have a great New Year's, and I'll talk to you guys next time.